man. So right here, we definitely got industry plant Dev Demi leaking us some information when it comes to NBA 2K25 gameplay. I'm sure he's gonna relay these messages to the devs 100%, especially since he's tweeting about it. And he's definitely doing this for interaction. They 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 didn't tell him to uh, tweet these hoes. Y'all see that later. I'll basically prove that later. But before we get into everything, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Let's, let's, let's get this video to um 150 likes in 24 hours. It's free. Stop being a hater. I'm telling that real. Head of the Next Makers tweeted this out, okay? Now, I think he's just doing this for interaction. They're not really going through him in no way. Now, what I'm about to tell y'all is finna be hilarious, okay? He says, really would love to see bigger courts in NBA 2K. People can still guard the paint and the three-point line with ease, which we know is physically impossible in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are going to find out why it's so funny. So I just want to see what a true scale game on 2K feels like. What y'all think? And if y'all know, for years I've been telling y'all, man, they're making this whole more casual friendly. They're always trying to nerf the skilled players and all that. And what did they do to do this? They made the court smaller or the player models bigger. I've been telling y'all this, right? And I told all the casual NPCs and the devs that there's repercussions to this. They was basically saying, we had too much room to dribble. We had too much room to left, right. We had too much room to get busy, and then someone couldn't stand in the paint and still guard their man at the three. But I was like, that's realistic, right? But now, everybody's like, the courts are too small. They made the courts too small for the casual negative 1% NPC to cater to them. Because when you make bigger courts, Here's what's gonna happen. And I think it's very realistic and it's better for the gameplay and the skill gap. When you make the courts bigger, someone like me, right? I'm gonna beat my man crazy, right? You gonna have to pick up and you gonna have to actually make the choice. If you make the choice to pick up, my guys, y'all know corner thoughts, they, they just, <laughs> they're not very good at the game, right? So they're gonna be crazy open and be able to hit that hole without the pressure. But with how the game is now, it's so small and restricted. They can get, they can like damn near touch you and still get back to contest the shot, especially if the user is very good, right? But realistically and skill gap, you know, you, you gotta you gonna have to make more choices. And what's that gonna create? It's gonna create someone like me who can really get by their man to be more dominant. And that's how it should be because I'm better than everyone. He has no D, it should be, you know? But then also on the other side of the coin, it hurts casuals because a skilled defender or players or a team, they can, a really skilled defender or even an average defender can actually guard two, three people because it's so constricted you know and that'll bother casuals too you know it'll make them you know not be able to really get in touch with the game because people could just guard everyone and just be in the you know without having no skill people getting steals the ball thrown off them and all that it, it messes up the gameplay for casuals and um skilled players but people just got to realize like if you get beat one-on-one -on -one, and or someone's draining at the three, you, you just have to deal with it. You know, you have to pick your poison. And I believe the court should be bigger I, because then the casual gets to get in their bag. You know, how would a casual have fun if everyone's just guarding them, they can't ever get by their man, and then there's always another man? They're eventually just gonna put this hoe down, you feel me? But if they actually have room to work, it's gonna motivate them to learn how to beat their man one-on-one -on -one or play team ball and, They'll get a more sense of reward and they'll want to dive within the gameplay mechanics to get even better and they'll be more addicted to the game. You feel me? It's, it's, it's very deep that people don't understand, man. You know, I play, I'm, I'm a casual comp guy. It's just not, you know, like I understand how y'all feel about this, you know. I, I really understand the casuals to a different degree better than they understand themselves, you know. But let's see. Now, right here, you can tell that Demi, 
is just talking for interactions because this this tweet like makes no sense i'm gonna I'm break it down for you he says should quick stops be brought back in 2k25 right now he needs to clarify this is why someone like him shouldn't be in like the position because he it, he just doesn't understand the gameplay it just it doesn't make it doesn't make sense um i guess it's because he could be controlled but he doesn't understand the gameplay so why are you like the one that feeds between it's it's very weird but um quick stops are in nba 2k24 so is left riding despite what so many casuals think Left riding is here and it's OP, crazy, right? So is quick stops. All you have to do is do one dribble quick stop. Now there are different types of quick stopping that needs to be addressed, right? There's different levels of quick stopping. There's different mechanics within every 2K, okay? Now in the golden era, the best era where defense was immaculate, you could really follow your man, track him, and all that they removed that to try to cater to the casuals by the way that's the reason defense isn't in the game if y'all didn't know right even though the offense was very fast back then um on 15 16 14 you could shoot on a dime right it it was you didn't have to try to do a quick stop you could shoot on a dime but also the defense was so good that you could track that no one ever complained about it that was never a complaint like what y'all see in, when people quick stop that was just normal shooting. There was no accidental fades. There was no, you catch the ball, you're fading by accident. You have no control over your player. You can't have little intricate mechanics like that when the game's so laggy and delayed and there's so many different variants of lag. It's it's just, it's horrible on for skilled players and casuals. If you don't, if you didn't understand the old two Ks, just trust me, bro. Or, or don't, don't talk in a fact when you haven't played both. So, for instance, those are that type of quick stopping. And then, ah, dang, was it 18? I don't remember, but I know for 20 for sure, there's a different type of quick stopping. I used to do it all the time, right? Um, There was a flick up right before you shoot. Maybe it was in 17, I'm not sure, right? 17, 18, 19, kind of a blur, how the quick stop mechanics work there pretty sure the same but for 20 for sure i remember i love the 20 quick stop mechanics you could just flick up or you could just flick directly right or directly left and it was beautiful it was beautiful it was a you know it was a simple thing and it was tremendous you had more control over your player user skill it's realistic we're demigod my players we have control over ourselves when we want to shoot on a dime you know people in real life have control of when they want to shoot and they're not accidentally fading right we should have more control over our players right but and it's not something that's being crazy exploits and in any year bro quick stopping is barely like used like it's only the top 10 percent if anything and people never go crazy with the quick stops it's all it's only like front running when they really start doing it, you know, they're kind of careful about it, you know, because they don't want to mess up because you can mess up your quick stop and then accidentally fade. But but yeah, you should definitely be able to shoot and stop on a dime like y'all don't. Um, A lot of the leaners and fades and there's so many hitches and random animations you get to jump shots. And it's it's just poor mechanics, man. You should be able to control yourself and shoot on a dime. You feel me? And not do so many accidental fades or. I know a lot of y'all uh, casuals, you're scared, but it's very easy to do and it will improve your game and let you have more control over your player and make it stop being so animation based. How they did it in 20, I'm not a big fan of 20 at all. One of the bottom tier 2Ks for me, but it, it had some positives within it and the quick stop system was cool. Now right here, should the shot meter be turned off in Pro-Am stage and in 2K25 now? Listen, listen, people are very selfish. Fuck the Pro-Am community, fuck the stage community. Let's talk about the whole game, right? For cheaters, oh my God, they're just not gonna cheat in Pro-Am and stage, who cares? People who play Rec and people who play Park, they don't wanna play cheaters either, right? So take the meter, just out the game. Keep it in offline modes, right? Now, here, here, here's my argument, which 
almost no one's echoing. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why people don't listen to me, dog, or they don't understand. They're crazy selfish. Now look, the shop meter truly helps nobody. If you're decent at the game, you understand this. It's a handicap, right? First off, you don't get the boost and it doesn't help you learn your jump shot at all. It's not training wheels. It handicaps you into reading the defense and being able to calculate when to hit your shot and the defensive pressure you're getting because you're looking at the meter. When you could be looking at the defense and your player and learning that skill and timing it. People who are looking at their meter and there's all these different latencies in it. There's a lag delay when it goes up and there's a bounce back and it's it's completely broken. It's not like the old meters, right? Today's era of the meters, they're very bad and they're poorly developed, right? So it's like it it's it's not it's training wheels. Since there's a no meter boost, there's no benefit of the meters. You know, like 16, like I, I miss the meters being there and it being like bing, like the 15 and 16 ones. Like them hoes was fire. <laughs> them hoes, they was beautiful. I love that. But then they made the no meter boost and they made shooting way easier and all that. But with, with like Zens and stuff, like it's what y'all don't understand when it comes to cheating, it's a very long process and you got to be a real geek nerd, right? Have cheating with a meter is easier to do than the no meter whatever the hell it is from what i be reading on twitter and stuff so taking out the meter will reduce the cheaters significantly even though there's barely cheaters to begin with because it's a whole process right it ain't just like on 21 when they got some striker pack and all that no it's a process and you gotta be real geek nerd and all this you know so anyone you see cheating they're like a real nerd like some type of putrid human like they're going through real geek processes like real geek it's not just oh download and then oh good good no you gotta download download, 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 download talk to this do, 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 all this do, 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 tweak it like bro you feel me but yeah it should definitely be turned off like for instance they took out vibration if you took out vibration for everybody because the cheaters take this out also the meter truly helps no one you can keep it for the layups and stuff but just take it out that that's how i y'all let me know how y'all feel y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this so he tweets out right now leaners post fades and hop jumpers etc are not attached to jump shot ratings just height do you feel they should attach to ratings also should be demi now here's the truth okay i'm a vet demi god no pun intended. I've been a 91% person since before the first Park 2K, okay? Always been him. I understand what can happen when these bigger builds and stuff like that, they have access to certain jump shots and, you know, certain green windows. It makes it broken. This is why you got to have the restrictions. I know it's kind of lame. They kind of dig the, they did the bigs dirty this year um for some reason the jump shots don't work like that it's very weird even when you have like crazy ratings but um hey now young joey 2k he's a dribble god that loves uh being a dribble god on a big demi my player <laughs> okay now he says that was a thing which i'm not necessarily against there has to be a massive overhaul to amount of le learners you mean leaners and hop jumpers you can get as a big. Only good hop jumper is Joe Kick, and the only good leaner is KD. As for post fades, there are plenty. You don't know why that is? Because <laughs> it's easy to be a post scorer. <laughs> so it's not that much of an issue. We start ha height cap and post fades too, which I'm against. Now, even with pro play, animations didn't really get better at all. If you think that you're really exposing your knowledge of understanding the gameplay mechanics they didn't get more realistic they're just slow and casual friendly man now i definitely do think there should be more usable leaners for all builds all different heights all different this and that but definitely the smaller you are you should have a, some type of advantage okay um it, it just has to be like that or there's no point in having a smaller player right um 
it just has to be like that or people just gonna make super big builds and you know there has to be it can't just be like like 18 and 19 they get these crazy jump shots and just shooting over people because they can shoot just as good as the little there's no point in making a little build what's the point you know don't you want a diverse game i know the height overall in the nba you know it's gone up but there's still got to be a point to make a a little build just mechanically within the game too like you know everybody just six seven plus like six eight plus like i don't know man y'all let me know how y'all feel about it and then demi leaked something you know he says i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a ton more in 25 based off pro plays potential now this could just be a marketing gimmick but you know joey does my uh leak 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 but this this could just be a gimmick you know they you know they marketed pro play crazy and that <laughs> it was trash <laughs> no usable animations only a few you know if you want to be decent you can't um launch out of certain ones there's there's so many hitches it really makes them unusable when you face someone on your level right of course you could use all these random sigs versus people you're way better than <laughs> <laughs> That's what these Sim Nation NPCs don't understand. <laughs> then he says, I know nothing. Now look, make sure y'all subscribe. Y'all go watch my uh, last uh, 2K25 video, man. Really breaking down the facts. Videos on the screen. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for witness. Hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.